All right, so what's this Reddit? So one of Mad Lion's owners tweeted saying, Alioya and Kaiser are trying to carry the team, that he doesn't think Kazi has a necessary level for the team. I feel sorry for seeing Elio like that. He has to carry them on his back alongside Kaiser. I keep thinking that Kazi doesn't have the level. But he gives the team... But he gives the, the team things that they consider important. It's clear for me that I'd put in... Blocked in... How do I say... I don't, I, I don't know how to say his name. In the starting roster, but I don't decide anything related to those things. XD. Wheelchair emoji? Is that... What the fuck? What the, there's just no chance. So this this guy is not... From what people have been saying in chat, he's only like a share, a slight shareholder or like a board member or something. Like he's not an actual... He's not head of the like the, the team making decisions. I don't know. This is... Yeah, this is him like as a fan just voicing his opinion, I guess. And then Kaiser replied lol, quoting the tweet. And then he then tweeted... My tweet about Kazi clearly has upset people, so I have zero problems in deleting it and even apologizing to him. The last thing I want is to disrespect him. <laughs> How can, like, dude, it. The la. <laughs> Not just a fucking irony. Like, how can he say that? The last thing I want is to disrespect him. After saying that. Or even this. Like, it's clear for me that I put in. Whatever. Just backpedaling. His teammates and the yeah they had don't get that riled that because I even spoke with him through DMs. See ya. And Grab said your five players plus staff did an absolutely incredible job this year and lost against one of the best teams in the game's history. You should be grateful for all of them making mad. One of the best and most liked teams. Yeah, that's a good tweet. After understanding the situation, I'd like to clarify: Revenant was not negative tweeting. It was a normal owner, a normal Twitter experience. Owner Twitter experience. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry if this tweet seems disrespectful. I didn't mean to disrespect XD. Leader, lovely tweet. Adriel. Be a team owner, flame your AD carry publicly, who you're possibly negotiating with for contract extensions and worked all year to get to where he is. Say you'd sub in another AD, but it's a shame you don't have a uh, say in these things. Only Delete way tweet. Damn one rivals T1's legacy is by having the GOAT on their team. Unfortunately, the GOAT is on T1. Anyone is the go, you're not wrong. Treat said, Imagine being Kazi, trying his hardest entire year, putting an insane amount of work, playing at a very high level, best team in the world, only to be flamed by your owner. Esports can very, very XD at times. XD, why, like, why in League? Why, why is it XD just so fucking prominent in League? Especially in EU, man. Every time I play in EU, it just permit play people to spam me XD, XD, XD. There's like, there's so much meaning and substance behind this. These two letters. And Kazi ended with, My friends, don't be too mad. It doesn't matter what someone who doesn't have a single clue about the game says. I'm not going to... Respect. I'm not going to feel down because someone such as Revenant said something like this. Just stay happy. Don't let other people get you down. I love Matt. He doesn't seem to give a fuck, does he? I don't think it's as... I don't think it's as big as... Of a deal as people are making it out to be. Like, I don't think it's gonna, like, I, I, I think Kazi just, like, is like, fuck, I don't give a fuck. Like, I think they're just not gonna be, like, especially if he's not even, like, primary owner. Thank you for the 19 guts. Wait, you got frozen meat pies? The fuck? Why are the org owners in esports so weird, man? What weird owners do we have? Who, who are the weird, I mean, who is, the like, the weirdest owners? So weird. Carlos is like a former player, so you understand why he's like not a typical... Like a lot of them are like former gamers, so like, you, you know, they're not business people, you, they're like personalities more so. Reginald, former player. Reggie, Carlos. Nade Shot. Even bloody, um, like Steve for Liquid, like they're all former players, I guess. I don't think Jack, Jack, C9 Jack doesn't see, he seems pretty switched on, no? When you're rich and powerful, you tend to become surrounded by yes men and think everything you say or do is awesome and right. Then you post something online and get a wake up call from people that don't give a fuck about your status. True. That's true. And true, and very true actually. True and real, based. 
The people I work for make eSport owners look like inexperienced hacks. They usually are. Look like the inexperienced hacks that they usually are. What a hack. What, is it, what does it mean to be a hack? Like the inexperienced hacks they usually are. What does that mean? Many industries with many yes men and women like real estate, but they look like absolute masterful business people compared to the moronic goons in eSport. Fucking Reddit with the TL flair respect. Like daddy slacks. Hacker man is like a fraud. I don't get why you'd publicly act like this. It doesn't seem strategic at all. Facts. I don't know how you could tweet that thinking there wasn't... How, how could an actual sane person tweet something like that and as an owner of a team and not think there's going to be some type of backlash? Like, you'd have, you'd not have to be fucking idiotic to not think that would blow up. Like, flaming a fucking player. Like, he refused to renew his contract. You can't milk any more money out of him. I don't even know if this guy's, like, that deep in, like, he can make, like, that big of a strategic decision on rosters. I don't even know. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> Just a stupid thing to say. Has Kazi... Has Kazi, um... Re-signed? With Mad? What's happening? Does anyone even know what he's doing? He's tweeting a fan. He thinks he can say whatever he wants. It's just an opinion. He's dumb. I don't think it's that big of a deal as people make it sound. Yeah, I agree. It's not, it's not that big of a deal, but it's... it's. I mean, it's a little bit of drama and it's fun. It's, it's pretty funny to look at. How stupid people can be at times. And if a rich goes after, you know, it's a minus 5. 0.5 fucking K IQ to it. Classic. Interesting. Interesting little scenario. Do you guys think something like this would actually influence Kazi in making a like a roster decision? I feel like he's just gonna go that way. Get he has the best chance of winning, plus gets an equal share of the best amount of money. I feel like some random part owner, if you're a logical person, is gonna have zero fucking influence on what you're doing, right? Sure, I, I don't think I don't think he'd, he'd give a single fuck. Kazi thinks he plays solo Q or flex Q. There are clips of Leoya trying to run plays, but nobody listened to him because Kazi was just making unnecessary comments like, did you see this play? Etc. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Madlines tweeted he's not an owner, just a streamer for Mad. What? How did this get confused? So he's not an owner, he's a streamer. I saw someone screenshot that said he's in his Twitter bio that said part owner. Oh, Showmaker and Khan just got in a game. Let's see what Showmaker's playing. Turned him in mid. Oh my god, what a stomp happened here. Does it got, what does he have in his, um... No, well, in, in, in his Twitter bio, he has Mad Lion's owner. I tweeted, but I don't, I don't know what... I can't read it. Oh, am I on the wrong Twitter? Maybe I'm on, I'm on Spanish. No, I don't. Know. Oh, Madline's English. They tweeted, "We are incredibly proud of our team's performance. We support all of our players, including Kazi, who was a big part of our success." The just the disparaging conversations. Can someone definitions disparaging? Conversation started early on social by Revenant, one of our content providers, is misleading. He is not part of the ownership group or management and does not speak for Mad Lions or overactive media. We count on our partners to work collaboratively with us and share our disappointment around uh, Revenant's comments with our fans. Damn. That guy's in trouble.
I wonder what's gonna happen. Good build by the casting in. I love I love tank casting in Frozen Heart. I don't think so, Honk. It all depends on how much shares does he have. I mean they said he's not an owner. Maybe he has like a small investment or something, but like I don't know what's gonna happen. His next stream is gonna be a banger for sure. Let me know when he goes live. Oh my god, get tapped. This MF came to Os as an import, and he played in Os for a year. He was actually pretty good. I think he goes by Tiger. Pretty rough when you. you <laughs> it's pretty rough when you when players from other regions get imported to Oceania. I mean, I respect them for hustling and giving it a go, but like, fuck, dude. Cheers, boss man. You've come... <laughs> You've come down to the bottom. Straight down with us. But we accept you. Yoop, thank you for the seven months, man. And Zern, thank you for the prime. No gore drink is on these trends anymore. Not a single one. As soon as someone takes map one from Darmon, they will tilt. Yeah, well, I'm still fucking waiting. Yeah, step one, take a map from Darmon. Step two, no one gets past step one. Why are they down 3k gold? Where, where is this? Top lane's down 40 CS, jungle's down 30, mid's up 40, bot's even. Top lane, top lane plates. Get the fuck out of there, boss. <laughs> that poor, poor Aphelios. Put that ultimate straight through the goalposts. Right between them. Connected with a fucking nobody. I don't even know if that hit it mattered. Hey, Link. How you doing, mate? And will host host worlds 2032 my city where i'm from is hosting the olympics and i'm gonna try and lobby to have worlds hosted in my city brisbane to coincide with the olympic games and league of legends will be introduced to the olympic games that year as well i'll be the australian representative of course i'm already thinking about getting the olympic tattoo they get the rings probably like on my neck I could fit the whole rings on my neck, you know I could.
one person lobby. I'll pay people to play, don't worry. I'll keep League of Legends competitive scene going. Just so I can be a winner. Good luck. I will... I will be a world champion League of Legends player. I will be the number one player ever. Because I will outlast the game. And I will be... You know... As a billionaire, I will, pro I will provide players their salaries to lose to me. And, and I'll provide the trophies also and fill my cabinet. I know it's going to happen. It's a matter of time. If I'm not good enough, it doesn't matter. It simply doesn't matter. You guys will all move on. You'll be like 60 years old and you'll see me in the news, which I pay for these articles to be put, about how I'm dominating the Rift and the next big thing. I don't care. You don't understand. I mean, I'm, I'm in this for the, the long game. It's going to be a long one. Did no one ever tell you Copium is dangerous? I'm... The sad thing is, I'm not fucking joking. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Haha, Drew, that's funny, you're not... I'm dead serious. Like, 100%. C9 is actually winning this. No jokes, perk stiff. It's just too big. <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah. Gonna be a th quick 3 0, buddy, that's for sure. I fucking. I hope Sinan wins so badly. I, I agree, but just, it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna, it's gonna be tough. Don't, don't forget to ult. No, run, 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 run. The beast, the actual boring part is down one three zero. Everyone, I will literally cry. That's so sad if that happens. If down one like just three, there's slowly three zero t one, and then slowly three zero like EDG or something. Like, oh, what a sad world. Nice, Kiki. Sunflower guy's pretty good. I see him. Pr I see him often actually in Hyalu. Really enjoying the world, and I hope that whoever wins, we get some dope skins. Kid four, I hope so as well, man. I think we will. I didn't think it was possible Riot Games could fuck up like a world skin line, but that FPX skin line suck. That's stank. C9 skins would be pretty cool, I agree. But let's not get ahead of it. Let's not let's not go crazy. Nice. I wonder who Showmaker, like, Showmaker's probably gonna win. What champion do you think? He picked Twisted Fate for his last skin. I wonder who he would, he would pick this year. I don't really want a Trendemir skin. A Syndra skin? Not another Syndra skin. Azir, LeBlanc. I think a LeBlanc skin would be pretty good. It would... A, Le a LeBlanc world skin would be really nice, and plus LeBlanc's like pick so often, you'd make a good, you'd make a little good money off of that. It'd probably be like their logo on a W, wouldn't it? Silas wouldn't be too bad either. Silas or LeBlanc, I'd take. Just do TF again. <laughs> there's no shot you're allowed to do that, is there? No, there's you can't. There's no way. What if he just fucking alphas them and just says, I want TF again, motherfucker? They're gonna try and make it a whole new skin? 
There's no chance you're allowed. Oh, Zoe want to be cute. Little Dom one outfit. Nice. Jesus Christ. Showmaker flank. This is actually a 1v5. It's impossible. Or is it? Maybe it's one off of that. What the fuck is his team? Billiards? Yes. Beast, what if Showmaker makes an ultimate bro move and lets Chovy have his skin this year? Dude. Yeah, dude. Maybe you're gonna do the ultimate bro move. I don't what what do you what do you think before you talk? I think I think the sickest timeline is Chovy roll swapping to top lane next year to join Darmon when Khan retires. Phenomenal team. Pick up a new bot lane. Keep keep Showmaker mid Canyon Junk. Just roll it back for another year. They could ease they could easily get Teddy, yeah. Dom one they could get Teddy for sure, 100 percent Cause Gumi Yushi's staying T1. No way, there's no chance he's leaving. It'd be so good. You'd have like oh it would just be very nice. I think yeah, I think everyone is assuming Chovy is gonna Take a absolutely ridiculous offer from China and go and play an LPL next year. That's what everyone's been saying, but who knows? No, Chovy could easily do what Xiaohu done. I think Xiaohu had a very good tournament. He's been, I mean, his top lane has been phenomenal. I think Jovi could do it better. I mean, if you're Chovy, that's probably your best chance at winning worlds is doing a top lane swap to join Darmon. There's probably not going to be many mid lane spots open on the top teams. It's kind of risky joining a new team and trying to like make a super team or something too. In Korea, anyway. There'll be openings in China, but I just mean in the top teams in Korea. We'll see, though. Money changes everything. It's all fun and games until you get offered millions of dollars in contracts to do things. I would know. Oh, shit. Icky bounty. Oh. Teddy Hello. to G2 Hopium. Teddy's not going to G2. Hey Colin, thank you for the tier one. Acid in? He's panicking. Showmaker actually wins this year, I reckon. Poor Kiana. It's casting is gonna take a fat minute to come online. Chovy to T1 if when Faker retires. Um, I could see that being a possibility, yes. I don't think Faker retires this year though. Maybe Faker retires next year, I don't know. He's gonna have to do his military service at some point. But by then, who knows what Chovy... Maybe Chovy's gonna sign a, a long-standing deal with someone else. T1 can just buy it out, I guess, though. 
Maybe rich. I think about Tyler one money. Somebody said the confirmed roster is going to be Broken Blade, Yankos, Caps, Kazi, and Lebrov. I mean, that, there's no chance that's confirmed. Like, what? <laughs> Where do you get this from? Some just random guy, like, three followers off Twitter just spewing info out, like, facts. I mean, maybe... <laughs> that at LeBruv. Oh boy. The real question is where the fuck is Reckless going? I would love so much for Reckless to go to TSM. I would love that so much. It would just be a perfect fit. Just fully commit. My, my boy lost, though. He's OCD. You're not going to replace Lost, are you? Guys? He's that Thresh is beefy. Showmaker got... Showmaker's four items completed. Look at him. Had a... Oh. Keep going. Crits, 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 crits. He's done. Oh my god, he's alive. They can just run down mid, they win. GG. That's stopwatch, man. Casted in no boots at 30 minutes. Brilliant. Love this tank build. Really nice. It actually just seems like it was fucking useless, this game. Who would have thought? I thought this game was actually doomed. Please, what do you think about CLG Chovy? Eight hours, timeout. Or even... Making me process thinking of wasting Chovy on CLG. Just the thought of of his career going like, dude, you're done. Get out. And nothing against CLG. But uh, look, I've got big plans for Chovy, you know. The protege of, of me, obviously. Um, yeah, big things planned for Chovy. I'm his manager, I'm his coach. Unconfirmed everything, of course, allegedly. I can't prove I coached him. And I didn't coach him, but I could have. Where, where's Whippo gonna go? Oh, dude, I can't wait for off-season rumors and changes. I love off-season. I love these roster swaps. Always gets really spicy.